G'day! Today on the table, I've got an XFX RX590 Fatboy. And this one's an 8 gig model, which hopefully you guys can see there. And this particular one, I went to my local e-waste slash tip, and I was dropping off a broken CRT monitor. And while I was there, this was sitting in the, in the crate, and I thought I will give it a look over. Luckily for me, so far it seems to be turning on, so I don't know why it was there. But I do know I'm going to open it up and see if I can replace the thermal paste on here. So to begin with, you're going to need a Phillips head screw. I've already had this connected into a machine, and I've powered it up from there, installed the AMD drivers, and it looks to be functioning. So, in these current PC graphics card times, I may have an extremely good find on hand which I certainly won't say no to a, a free graphics card, considering right now in Australia, these seem to be going anywhere from about, or well, an RX 470, 480, 490, uh, 590, would probably go anywhere between, as I'm looking down here, and as I'm looking here, to me it does have a, like a slightly corroded look, so I'm not sure if this is like an X mining graphics card, or it's just poorly, poor air conditioning graphics card. But one here, one here, one here. I think this should be able to come off now. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I give it a twist, I might even have to put a flathead screwdriver. But right now, these graphics cards would be worth normally anywhere from three to four hundred Australian dollars. So I certainly wouldn't say no to a free card. Okay, let's lift it up for me. Loose. Aha. Uh -huh. As I'm looking over here, we seem to have some very hot and possibly repaired chips. I zoom in. They're looking very odd. Or at least I'm not used to looking at VRAM like that. We're looking here. They seem to almost have glue on there. And over here, it looks like we've had a fair bit of heat. Going on with it. Well, most chips I'm used to seeing would typically look like this one. Like that one, not like this one. Or these two down here. They're not looking promising at all. I will remove the thermal pad. Put that onto. back onto the cooler. And as I'm working with it, these did feel relatively fresh, so I'm assuming they're okay. Do the bias dipper there. So what I'm going to do is I'll dismantle a bit further. It do look like we've also had a fair bit of heat going over here. Might be able to see the discoloring. I'll take this back shield off, and I'm going to give it a hit with an air compressor. Bit of clean with some alcohol and reassemble and see what happens. Granted, that has lowered my opinion on how well this car will go under load. But I do also feel like EVGA offer a lifetime warranty, so it might be possible to even send it back to them. Take this off. Looking at the back of it. I haven't really seen too much there. Apart from dust, that's more along here, this chip, these two. Anyway, I'm going to give that a spray of alcohol and a brush. So this one here, I gave a spray with isopropyl, went over it with a toothbrush, and then hit it with an air compressor. Come back rather clean. Granted, I'm still very cautious on what these are going to do. And now I need to go take the upper cooler out for a quick blast. We'll get rid of. There we go. Clean that up just a bit. All ready for thermal paste. Put that aside. Grab. 
one. And give it a wipe down. So thermal pads on this one look and feel very oily, which is what you want. So I'm not gonna disturb them. Around here, do look fairly dusty and not great. So I'll go hit that with the air compressor as well, and then we'll reassemble. So it didn't really change too much, but let's go ahead and get this back together. Actually, we'll give this a quick brush from the inside. Go, move that out of the way, and where are we? Yeah, fat screw down the bottom here. Fun enough, we didn't even need to take that out. Little screws Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we need some thermal paste. Gonna use some Arctic Silver 5. As with all things on the internet, everyone's an expert. So to someone out there, I've done that completely wrong. Personally, it's not gonna matter. It's gonna have full coverage. Next up, connect the fan header on. And in, fold it over, give it a line up. line up the screw holes, which are pretty, pretty good here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now just loosely do some of those up. Tighten these ones up. There we go. And now we've got fresh thermal paste and a bit of an inspection of the XFX Radian RX590 Fatboy. Definitely holds up to that term. Hope this helps you, and I'll see you guys later. Fingers crossed this will go again, but I'm doubtful judging by those VRAM chips. Bye.